Yo, 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 guys. Today we are going to be talking about NFTs. Yo, 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 guys. So today I have something super, super interesting, something super fun that we're going to talk about. It is off the topic of digital marketing and Facebook ads and all those things. And today we're going to be talking about NFTs. And I know at this point you have at least heard about like NFTs, right? You may not know what they mean. You may not know what that means, what they are, right? How to use them. Why all these people are spending hundreds and millions of dollars on JPEG art, right? But today, I hope you leave this video um, with that understanding and with that knowledge now. So today, we're going to be talking about what an NFT actually is and why there's been so much buzz around it, like why it's so important right now. So stick with me. I hope to make this so super short and sweet um, so I can get you back to your lives. But first things first, my name is Casey Brown, founder and CEO over here at Digital Kairos, and we help brands grow online. Outside of our day-to-days and our agency, I have been super involved in what I would call right now the infancy of Web3 um, and especially the NFT and crypto space. So I personally um, got involved in NFTs around about August of 2021. Um, I would say the birth of it um, was a few years back, but really the big birth of, of NFTs was uh, at the top of 2021. I get in around August and so at this point have been in for a few months and have around $20,000 of capital invested into the NFTs market. So I wanted to come on here after investing my own time and money into this space and now share some of the findings and learnings and how much money we've made and lost with all you all, right? So first things first though, before we continue on into conversations and my predictions and theses around NFTs and how to not lose money and all those things, I want to first explain what the hell an NFT is. You should not be putting your money anywhere that you don't understand what it actually is, right? And so first things first is what is an NFT? And an NFT stands for non-fungible token, right? And I am not going to get super technical here. I'm gonna use examples because I want you guys to understand this. And um, non-fungible token, right? So in life or assets, we can think around like this, right? money or if i had a dollar bill right i could give you a dollar bill in exchange for another dollar bill right or i could give you a 20 dollars bill and be like hey let me trade my 20 for your 20 right you wouldn't raise up too many eyebrows around that because the 20 dollars bill holds the same value no matter what it looks like what it's shaped a 20 dollars bill can be exchanged for a 20 dollars bill right but when you think of something like a house for instance a house cannot just be exchanged house for house, right? Or maybe art, for example, cannot just be exchanged art for art. The Mona Lisa can't be just exchanged for some Picasso, right? Like you can't just exchange art for art. It has its own value and meaning to people. And so a dollar bill um, is a fungible token, right? It can just be traded one for one. A house or a piece of art in those examples are non-fungible tokens. So if you think about a non-fungible token, like an NFT is, all it is is actually a digital contract that lives on the blockchain that provides that digital asset, i.e. art, digital art, it provides that digital asset um, some form of ownership and value and contracts that now this art cannot just be exchanged or broken up one for one, right? Um, so all this to say, let me let me even simplify this even more. And NFT, all it really is, is like a deed to your house, right? It says like, hey, hey, Susan, you own this house, right? Or like, hey, Casey, you own that piece of art. Or when you go buy a Chanel bag, they give you a little certificate of authenticity, right? And it says like, hey, this is a real Chanel bag and you own it, right? An NFT, all an NFT is, is that digital contract that provides the digital asset that you own, some proof of ownership and, and obviously creates some value off of that. What existed before NFTs, right, was none of that, right? If I was a digital artist and I actually made a nice graphic and I put it out online, there was nothing actually stopping anybody from screenshotting that and saying that they either created it or taking the value of it, right? There was nothing stopping them from doing that. Now with NFTs, if I'm a digital artist and I put something out online, there is a contract behind it that is public, so everybody can see that contract too, um, that proves, hey, I created this piece of art and here are all the folks that have owned it throughout the years per se, 
right? So think of NFT as not art and NFT is not art, right? The use case for it right now is digital art and NFT and what it stands for is not art though. And NFT is the contract and NFT is like the deed to your house or the certificate for your Chanel bag or the certificate that authenticates that you own a real Picasso, right? That's what an NFT is and it is public to everybody because it lives on the blockchain. Blockchain itself is another uh, story for another day and explaining all that, but an NFT lives on the blockchain. It is a contract um, that makes whatever you own, improves the ownership um, of who created it, who owns it, provides some value to it and cannot just be exchanged in a one for one basis anymore. So I hope that makes sense into what an NFT is now. All right, cool. Understand what an NFT is. Why is it get like, what's all this buzz about? Why are people making so much money? Why are people spending millions of dollars on JPEG art? Right. And what, what the hell is going on here? Right. Is where I know your head is right now. And so a couple of reasons on why this is really important in, in a transformation really in, in all things digital, but especially for the, for web three and the infancy of it. I have a couple of things here. There are way more things as to why this is important, but a couple of things here. One with NFTs, there are no more counterfeits, right? So Chanel bag example, there's tons of, of fake Chanel purses and different things like that. With the certificate, you can verify if something is real, right? Like I just said, if I put out a digital image online and I'm a photographer or an artist, um, anybody could take that, right? And claim it as theirs or claim that, hey, I have the Casey painting, right? Now with an NFT, there can be a public attachment to prove that like, this is the real one and that's a fake one, right? That did not exist before. So the same ways that we do this in the physical world right now can finally be done in the digital world around verifying like what's real, what's fake, and we can do that uh, with NFTs and who owns what. Also NFTs in this contract, right? Creates more scarcity, which obviously in turn creates value when things are more scarce, like gold or housing or toilet paper during the pandemic, uh, we can raise the prices, right? It's more valuable. Um, and so, uh, NFTs create scarcity. So now again, maybe I'm a famous artist. I'm not, but Maybe I would be, um, but now I'm a famous artist and I can put out 50 pieces of art, right? And now because they all have NFTs behind them, it's verified that I, Casey Brown, created these paintings, right? Or these digital arts. Um, and now because there's only 50 of them and they're confirmed that they are all created by me, um, that can raise the price and or raise the value or perceived value, right? Because it's more scarce um, and it's been created by me. So that's another thing. The third thing on that same point is now creators can make a lot more money. So again, the biggest use case for NFTs right now is using them for art, right? Um, you will be, maybe not at the time of this video, but uh, at least coming up in 2022, you will be seeing a lot more music artists. I think Meek Mills actually just released a tweet that said, hit all of his uh, music will be released kind of like an NFT format right now, but you'll be seeing a lot more art and a lot more creators, not just like graphics, um, using and leveraging NFTs. Why? Because frankly, they can actually make a lot more money, right? For example, um, I have a painting out here, uh, that I really, really love. And I bought at an art gallery, right? I bought the painting at an art gallery and I'm sure the art gallery that I bought it at sent the original painter back some commissions, right? Because it was at an art gallery. Now, if I take that painting that's hanging up in my kitchen and go sell it on eBay or something, that original person that actually produced the work will not get any, you know, like fees off of that, right? They will not get any percentages of what I sell. They will only get the percentages off that first sell. Now, if that same painter actually produced NFTs and I bought one of their NFTs, if I go sell that thing a year later or two years later, that artist will continue getting royalties off of every sale that happens, right? Whether it's art, whether it's music, um, if they set the contracts up that way, they can continue to get royalties for the life of that painting, right? Which is super, super, super awesome for creators and, and folks that haven't had that opportunity. Um, and even folks like musicians, right? Where the record label gets so much of, of the royalties uh, produced off the songs. So some super exciting things for creators. Um, when it comes to NFTs. And lastly, the big thing around NFTs is utility, right? And I'm not just saying that you can make money off NFTs. You probably clicked on this video because you're like, how do I make money off of NFTs, right? Um, yes, you can make money flipping NFTs and doing fun things. And we could talk about that in a video. If you would like me to make a video around that, just make a comment here. 
Um, but there is so much more utility to NFTs than just making money. A lot of these NFTs and projects right now um, actually give holders, um, people that hold the NFTs, right, or own them, per se, um, they give them a lot of access, right? So for example, uh, folks that uh, hold Board Ape Yacht Club actually had this event called Ape Fest back in the summer. And Ape Fest was only, uh, only if you're a holder, could you get a ticket and, and get access to Ape Fest, right? And there were tons of celebrities there. I think like Lil Baby performed and like all these things were happening. Um, and it's a close kind of like group of people, right? They had merch that they had. Um, so only people that were holders could have access like that, right? To get in these rooms and get in these spaces and get these VIP concerts and things like that. So a lot of NFTs can um, come with access like that. I think Gary V actually is launching a project um, where it's going to be a restaurant. I think the restaurant will be in New York and only people, and it's like a fancy, fancy restaurant, only people that are holders of this NFT can actually make reservations and attend the restaurant. So um, NFTs can have lots of utility. Some NFTs like CyberKongs, actually, if you hold them, you can make money off of them. So NFTs and different projects can have tons of utility outside of just being art that you can buy and sell for money. So, um, and if you would like me to take a video about uh, finding like really great NFT projects to invest in, um, we can also talk about that as well. The last thing that I need to say around the NFT space, in case you don't watch any other videos that I make, is that almost probably like 99% of NFT projects are going to be garbage, right? Um, so please, 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 as you start engaging more in this space, find people like myself even to reach out to, to be in community with and ask questions with, to investigate projects uh, together with. There are a ton of scams um, going on right now in the NFT space, um, a ton of projects being stood up that are complete like garbage, right? So please, 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 if you are going to invest money, like I said in the beginning, know what the space is and know what you're getting into, right? So um, if you enjoyed this though, please like, comment, subscribe, um, do all the things. I am trying to put out a lot more uh, videos around just the things that I love, right? Like I said, I've invested a lot of money in here, a lot of time in it, and I really uh, have been having fun in this NFT space. So if you want to learn more about the things that we drop and um, hear them as they come out, right? We know this web uh, space moves fast. So please, please, please like and subscribe so that you get the alerts as soon as I drop new videos and new content, especially around NFTs. So if you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. With that, y'all, have a good night. Peace.